Finding your voice as a writer could be as simple as picking who you're writing for. Here's a scenario that's really helped me in writing emails or blog posts or anything when I've got to do, I got to sell some stuff or I got I to promote something or I just got to reach out and keep that relationship alive. I try to put myself in the headset of somebody that I don't know finding my topic or my, my, my blog or, or whatever for the first time, but they really fit. They're really interested in this topic. They just have never found my blog before. One way that I do this is I think about, like, I have a friend named Leslie who she's way into uh, my topic, and I know her, and she's on the blog. She's there commenting all the time. But she sends a blog post to someone else, like maybe some, maybe a Dave or something like that. I don't know Dave. Dave doesn't know me, He's but Leslie knows him, unless he's like, Hey, Dave, you should check out his blog post. It's really good. And Dave's like, I don't really know who this is, so what? How'd you get this number? No, just kidding. What's up, Leslie? Hey, what's up? Oh, there's a blog post. I don't know who wrote this, but I trust you. <laughs> so Dave lands on the blog, um, and I need to, and I and I like to write things for Dave. I mean, maybe that's that's getting a little distracting with the voices, because because the truth is, when I think of someone that, like, say, my wife knows someone and she forwards him an article that I wrote. I want to write it in a way that even if you don't know me, even if you aren't aware of, of, of a lot of the intricacies of my topic, you can still get this post. You're going to resonate with my voice. So that's one trick that's been really helpful for me to get into sort of the, the, the mindset or the, the frame of mind or the voice that I want to write something in. But another is I actually write it to my wife. For you, it might not be your spouse. It might be someone else who kind of knows what you're talking about, but they don't know all the details. That's what's really helpful for me when I write something to my wife is because she kind of knows what I'm talking about, but she doesn't know all the details. So it kind of forces me to be more clear and to not like speak above, uh, above anybody's pay grade. By the way, true story, Stephen King says that he wrote every one of his novels for his wife. He wanted her to be scared at the parts that are scary, to be laughing at the parts that were funny. He kind of tuned it all to where, to, to where, where her personality would enjoy it the most. So I'm not alone in that big, because uh, Stephen King does it too. So that's pretty a uh, strong, strong tip there. And another one that I do sometimes is actually write it for my dad. All right, because there's that generation gap there. He he is interested in what I'm doing, uh, but he doesn't know all the details. And dad's busy. You know, he's got a golf game to get to or something like that, right? So I know not to take up too much of his time. I know I kind of got to get to the heart of the matter pretty quick. Listen, I know what it's like to be locked up, to be sort of like you can't write the thing, you don't know where to start, or to have that to-do list, uh, that to-do item on your list for forever, because you aren't really clear on like what exactly you're gonna write or how you're gonna write it. Getting clear about a specific person that I write something for always helps me. I find that when I'm like, like you know, whatever, writer's blocky, or I don't, I don't feel like writing, or I don't have that clarity about it, is because I haven't really defined who this thing is for. So maybe this is one tip that you can take and put it in your arsenal of tricks when you need to write something for an email or for a blog post or for a book or for whatever. And to that point, I want to make a little cheat sheet. I haven't done this yet, so don't uh, don't hold me to it just yet. I'm hoping that it'll be done by the time I publish this video. And now that I'm actually recording it, I guess I'll have to do it. But it's a cheat sheet that's going to help you sort of with this thing. You can print it out. You can put it on the wall right next to where you write or have it on your computer or something like that and open it up for every piece that you need to write. To get that cheat sheet, go to this URL. Did you get it? Or did you get the new URL? Because man, this is important stuff. Like it, you can write. The trick to, to writing is getting comfortable with you writing. And I think a lot of the time you can talk to your to your uh, your spouse or your or your one of your parents or you know how to do that. And when we get comfortable in a comfortable headspace when we're writing, it just makes it easier to get this stuff out of us. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please share and like or do all the things. I would love to get in front of more people. Look at me. <laughs> I'm an attention whore. I'm just looking for love out there. And are you going to be one of my suitors? Are you going to be one of my suitors or love me? You're going to love me really good. I right, want to love me. Maybe share it with your friend then. That would be awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.